What's happening, webheads? Welcome back to Comic Book Corner 2.0. And fans, you're back with me, Mike Spider Slayer. Getting ready to do a, another FOC video. You guys seem to really like these videos and getting to know the comic books that are coming out in the near future, like a month from now. Uh, so I decided to try to do this as much as possible. This is a weekend thing, so the weekends are very, like, sketchy, right? I can be busy, sometimes I cannot be busy. An FOC uh, newsletter usually comes out, like, Saturday mornings. So I'll do my very best to get this out as much as possible because, as always, I am here to help you make decisions on what comic books to buy. And if you guys love that, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So without further ado, guys, let's check out the comic books that are getting ready to hit store shelves very soon. And if you find these comic books interesting and you want to let your comic shop know, I would do it right now. All right, guys, let's kick this off with Edge of Spider-Verse issue one. Guys, it's back. Just when you thought you did not have enough Edge of Spider-Verse, it does make its return. And guys, we're going to have Weapon 8. So who is Weapon 8? I don't know. We get the return of Spider-Bite in here. There's definitely your share of variants in this series. So if you guys are interested in another Spider-Verse, Go ahead and check it out. Guys, this is a double-sized Marvel FOC. This will be the last one of the year. Just giving you a heads up. All right, and then we move on to Dead X-Men. This is issue... Death was only the beginning. When the world turned against Krakoa, these five mutants lost their lives. But their mission as X-Men is just getting started to preserve Xavier's dream. They must accomplish the impossible or die again trying, spinning out from the rise of the powers of X. Discover who the dead X-Men are. I don't know, guys. Are you checking out this one? Are you going to check out the whole new X-Men line? It's a new chapter. I will obviously check it out. We'll see. All right. And then if you're interested in a new Quicksilver book, uh, with Scarlet Witch, we have this one as well, as there's going to be something that drives these two apart once again. There's definitely your share of variant covers when it comes to this series. Uh, we have the main cover, then it looks like we have a Scotty Young cover in there. Uh, we got a beach cover as well, and then you got your other variants there. So there's quite a few variants in this one. Are you guys interested in a Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver book? Let me know. All right, next we have Ultimate Black Panther. This is issue one. So guys, if you're into the Ultimate Universe, you're going to want to check this one out. It looks like there's a with like Moon Knights involved with this comic book as well. Check out the moon in the background of Black Panther. I'll definitely be checking this one out for sure, covering this stuff on Worthy Ones. We have Wolverine Madripoor Knights. I saw a, a preview of, not a preview of this book, but I heard about this book coming out for quite a while ago, and it says, Return to the island nation of Madripoor as X-Men legend Chris Claremont takes the helm of an all-new Wolverine tale, teaming Logan with his long-standing friends Captain America and Black Widow. We've definitely we've definitely seen many series with Wolverine going back to Madripoor. Um, it's cool that Black Widow and Captain America are in this book. Obviously, Black Widow has that cool gray costume, so this is taking place back in that time, and Chris Claremont is writing it, so it definitely makes sense. I will be checking this book out. First, Mace Windu issue one. So Mace Windows, Windu is getting his own comic here. One of the greatest Jedi must stop an incendiary secret from falling into the wrong hands. Even in the years before the Clone Wars, Mace Windu was known for his discipline, determination, combat skills. So, I don't know, man. I guess it dives deeper into the character. Um, <laughs> is this too little too late? I don't know. We'll see what happens with it. I might check it out. I might not. I don't know. I feel like Star Wars comics are just not that great anymore. All right, and then we move on to Marvel Voices here. So, uh, you know, I, I tend to stay away from these Marvel voices. I feel like they're a little bit overpriced. 
And here it says, a legend from the past. The Allfather sought answers to his new troubles and memories of old. And to refresh those memories, he consulted to the tale of when young Thor and young Loki journeyed out beyond Asgard. I don't know. This this might be a hard pass for me. There's some cool variants in this one there. I like that Deathlock one. Uh, that's pretty badass, but I don't know if I'll go out of my way to pick this one up. All right, and then we have Avengers Twilight. This is issue two. Obviously, I don't know what it, what it quite is yet because issue one hasn't come out, but check out the main Alex Rover, Alex ross cover i can't talk today guys but uh it looks pretty awesome and it says with the clock ticking to new year's day and the world against captain america must build an army to save america will his surviving friends sign up or is he going to have to lead the ragtag group called the defenders against the expert military marksman known as bullseye oh that's right this is when the avengers are like older right something like that yeah, I'm kind of looking forward to this book. We got some cool variants there on the bottom. So yeah, I'll, t I'll definitely check this one out for sure. All right, and then at this point, we have Carnage Issue 3. Um, Carnage Issue 2 is getting ready to come out, I think, on December 27th. I think I, I'm starting to put together the most anticipated video for that week. And uh, first issue was kind of creepy, man. I really enjoyed it. Um, it had Cletus Cassie being reborn once again, and he's creating all these crazy like murders. So insane. Definitely we'll be picking that one up. And then we have the continuation of Daredevil uh, Gang War. This is issue three. So far out of all the Gang War books, issue one Gang War for Daredevil was really good and my favorite tie-in as of right now. I have not read the Miles Morales one yet. But this was really good as we have the X-23 uh, clone in there that's battling Daredevil. And it's been really, really good. The artwork is phenomenal. I definitely say pick this book up, guys. All right. And then we move on to Deadly Hands of Kung Fu Gang War Issue 2. Same thing, guys. This book has not come out yet. It, the first issue is released on the 27th. So I'm not sure if... I will continue this. This is the one gang war book like I'm really, really, really on the fence about. I just don't know how, um, what's his name, can actually fit in there, right? So Shang-Chi, like it just doesn't make sense to me. But anyway, we'll see. We'll see if I pick this one up. All right, and then we continue on with Doctor Strange. At this point, we're on issue 12. Uh, we have a pretty cool variant there. And then we move on to... Uh, Fantastic Four, this is issue 17. Pretty creepy looking cover as they're like discovering some dude in like skeleton bones. Like that's weird. Uh, got a nice like Sue Storm cover there on the left. And uh, you got your couple other variants there as well. All right. And then we move on to one of the best uh, best Marvel books as of right now. We, The Incredible Hulk. Uh, at this point, we are on issue number eight. And we've had Incredible Hulk teaming up with like this zombie Ghost Rider character, which is pretty cool. The artwork inside by Nick Klein is really good. We get the female teenager who wants to be this type of Hulk as well. And uh, it's been an interesting book, man. I've really enjoyed it. I definitely recommend reading it if you have not picked it up. All right. And then we go on and move to uh, She-Hulk. So we have sensational she hulk um this is issue i think it's either four or something like that at this point guys and sensational she hulk is not been a very good like volume two in my opinion or i should say volume three yeah volume two i guess because it continued off of the she hulk book and it's just been a little bit frustrating like you expect new readers to read this book and you're putting in characters that you have no idea you know who they are and if you didn't read the last volume you're going to be completely lost so i felt like the new number one wasn't a great jumping on point so i don't know i feel like besides the pretty covers when it comes to uh sensational she hulk there's just not much going for it unfortunately all right and then we move on to venom this is issue 30 uh, at this point so we've had a lot of team ups between other symbiotes going back and forth here we have we have uh, Natasha Romanoff who's a symbiote now she goes by the name of Widow we've had Toxin in the book 
We got Dylan Brock, who's looking for Eddie Brock. It's just been crazy. So will they find Eddie because he's been missing for quite a while? Something tells me yes. So we shall see. All right. Then we move on to X-Men. Uh, we have X-Men issue 31. Uh, we have the ultimate mutant hunter. The X-Men lived in fear of Nimrod's creation, and now it's clear why the ultimate weapon of mutant extinction is ever adapting, ever evolving with only one goal, death to mutant kind. We've definitely seen our share of Nimrod over the past few years. We're going to see what he... You know, what he's going to do to the X-Men this time, we shall see. You got your obvious variant covers. I do like the Emma Frost card cover there. That's pretty awesome. All right, and let's continue on now. We have the Indies. We got Ghost Machine. This is one shot. This is obviously uh, Jeff John's imprint here. It's written and illustrated by Jason F uh, Fabok. Gary Frank, Brian Hitch, Jeff Johns, Lamont McGee, Francis Menopole, Brad Meltzer. So you see where all these people have gone, right? For this new imprint here, uh, there's definitely your share of uh, variant covers in here, guys. So if you're looking to get on board with the Ghost Machine imprint, this is the time to do it. Holy cow, man. That is crazy, the amount of them in there. So cool. All right, and then we move on to... What is this? We have Darkwing Duck Justice Ducks. So we have like a spin-off book going on now with Darkwing Duck. And it says Darkwing Duck is teaming up whether he likes it or not. So if you guys are a fan of the character and you love him teaming up with other characters, go ahead and check it out, everybody. All right, guys. So we have the return here of Blue Book. This is a 1947 issue one. This is that alien book from James Tynion. Uh, I didn't know they were going to make like another volume of this book. So that's actually pretty cool. I like the first issue, but I wasn't really keen on the second issue. I do like this bottom right variant cover though, or middle, I should say. The right one didn't show up on the on the newsletter, but uh, it's pretty cool, man. You got these aliens looking in through a window on this guy. <laughs> that's that's so, so awesome. All right. And then next we have, oh, this is kind of cool. We have Crashdown. This is issue one. So this is obviously from Tom Garcia. You know him as Comic Tom 101. So that's really cool, man, that he has his own book that's getting ready to come out. I know he spent a lot of time doing it. Uh, I'll, I'll probably check it out as well. Um, and there's a few different types of variants in there, which is really cool. There's one middle one that looks like an homage to uh samus like a metroid variant so that that's kind of cool man it is it looks just like the cartridge that's kind of awesome so i'll definitely check that one out and we'll talk about it on worthy ones all right and then we have another new independent book here and this one is called rebel moon house blood axe issue one that is a very weird name it's comic book prequel to highly anticipated netflix movie rebel moon Based on a story by Snacks Zach, excuse me, by Zack Snyder and written by Eisner nominated Mags Vazio. So that's that. So will I check it out? I don't know. It's got some cool variants, I guess, in there, but it, I don't know really what it is, so I might just pass on it. And then we have what is called Dear Editor. So it says a John Doe slaying lures a journalist into a world of political intrigue. A Wi-Fi enabled grotto and a station locker full of secrets for Bucky, an editor of the crime beat at the truth. It's in all in a day's work, but he also happens to be a deer. Will he chase down his last story in his Antler Noir series? Deer editor is perfect for fans of Black Sad and Chinatown. Wow, that is just weird. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. All right. And then we go on to some of the image reprints. They will be on special order only, at least for my comic shop. But see if your shop can get them. We got Transformers reprints, guys. We got two and three, I think it is there. And uh, check out these covers. Oh, that's, that's pretty cool how many there are. There's like two, three, four, five, and six or something like that. Wow. All right. So now we move on to DC Comics. So here we have 
DC Power 2024 one shot. And you get to see the variants that it has to offer there. Then we move on to The Flash. Uh, this looks like a facsimile uh, comic book, so you might want to check that one out. So that's pretty cool as well. Are there two different types there? Like, I don't, what's different? Left side, oh, okay. We got a foil and then there's a non foil. All right. So the left side, non foil, it's $3.99. And on the right side, it's $5.99. It's like playing one of those games. Like, can you notice what's different on one page than the other? <laughs> And then you got the regular Flash comic book here. We got Flash. This is issue five. I've, I've fallen off this book. I just wasn't intrigued by it. But we do have some interesting covers here. I like the one on the bottom right with Boomerang on there. And then moving on, we go on to a pretty solid series. We have Green Arrow as he is now reunited with his family. I uh, love the cover on the left. That's pretty awesome. And, and the right. I mean, they're both really nice looking covers. Check out all the arrows coming out at Ollie, man. That's awesome, dude. All right, and then we move on to uh, Harley Quinn. So we have Harley Quinn. This is issue 36. Not reading the current series, but if you collect covers, this could be the one for you. Got the Jenny Friesen cover on the left. That's pretty cool. I love her glasses. All right, and then we have Power Girl. Obviously, you know, I just, I tried it, guys, and I just could not get into Power Girl. Nice looking covers, as always, when it comes to the comic book, but just not my thing. And then we continue on with Titans. This is issue seven. Uh, and, you know, when it comes to Titans, this is, uh, you know, this is a series where I'm just not always excited about. I don't know if it's because it's Tom Taylor or the story wasn't very interesting to me. So, again, it's just one of those series where it's just like, eh, do I need it? Maybe not. All right. And then we move on to titans beast world tour star city issue one so continuing on with the beast world event this is the tie-in here i said that i'm not going to read any more tie-ins when it comes to the series uh i read one tie-in and i just totally disliked it so i'm just going to stick to the main event so there you have it, webheads. There are all the newest, latest, greatest comic books that are getting ready to hit store shelves super soon to a comic shop near you. So let your shop know that you want some of these comics. And I did fumble my way through this video. So hopefully you enjoyed it. And as always, guys, I'll leave you more content right here to check out. In fact, this is my newest Worthy One video where I cover all the newest number one issue comic books for the week. And I tell you if they're worthy or not worthy. And if you want to buy them hey that's your decision at the end anyway so of course guys support the local comic shops keep buying keep collecting but more importantly always read those comics guys i'll see you real soon take care bye